Madison um, came to me as a very routine sickle cell patient initially. She had had very few complications and then suddenly she started developing multiple complications requiring intensive hospitalizations. I would like to tell myself that I'm dying and stuff like I couldn't take it anymore like I didn't know what to do and it was like stressing me out even more because like I, like I felt like I had give up and everything. She had developed lupus in addition to her sickle cell disease and one sets the other off. Dr. Cantor said that she could have a bone marrow transplant for me that it'd be very risky to do, but it would possibly cure everything. Well, it was very slim that we would find an unrelated donor because of her mixed heritage. So we knew that it had to be someone that was related to her. And we also knew that she had a biological sibling. And since we've kept in touch with her biological family over the years, we felt comfortable enough to call and say, hey, would you mind con uh, considering being a donor for Madison? And even if she said yes, we knew there was only a 25% chance that she would be a match. Thank God, she was a 100% match. It's very uncommon to use it for lupus, and there's no reported cases in which it's been used to treat both conditions at the same time. I found out that the transplant started to work about five months after the transplant. The prognosis for Madison is fantastic. I mean, she's got about a 95% chance that this is never coming back. We try to build on it, so we learned some lessons from Madison's case and we learned some things that will make this easier and better for other patients. So we're hoping to build a whole protocol that will be a study out of her case. It was phenomenal. It was life-saving. No other way of saying it, it was absolutely life-saving. I wake up and, I feel, and I'm in a pretty good mood, you know, and I don't know, I just feel good every day. Nothing bothers me anymore. I feel amazing every day.